ग्लोबल इनवेस्टर्स समिट द्वारा राष्ट्र की लक्षल कोूपयूक प्रतिपादन वीएम जगन आया परश्रम तो आर लक्षा मूड वेल रूम इन की उपाधि लभ पदे कीलक रंगा फलवंत चर्चा जरगा पारिश्रामिक अभिवृद्धि दिशा राष्ट्र प्रभुत्म चितशु तो अड़ वे परश्रम को उत्पत्ति व्यय तग्गे प्रभुत्व अन्नी विधाल अडगा उ सीएम जगन मोव त्वर में विशाख एग्जिक्यूट कैपिटल काबो प्रकट तुम्हारे विशाखक शिफ्ट विशाख ना पालन को स्पष्ट providing employment to almost 6 lakh people across 20 sectors distributed all along the state as of today post my speech we are going to execute 92 mous with an investment of about 11.85 lakh crores giving employment to almost 4 lakh people the remaining 248 mous will be executed tomorrow i.e. 4th march 2023 with an investment of about 1.15 lakh crores and an employment to almost 2 lakh people Marquee investments such as Reliance Group, Adani Group, Aditya Birla Group, Renew Power, Arvindo Group, Daikin, NTPC, IOCL, Jindal Group, Mondelez, Parley for the Oceans, Sri Cements. Wellspun, to a name, to name a few, shall be setting up their businesses and expanding their businesses in Andhra Pradesh. And I take this opportunity to thank them personally. On behalf of the state of Andhra Pradesh, I extend a warm welcome to you to the Andhra Pradesh Global Investors Summit 2023. And I also thank you all. for being part of this event at the outset i wish to point out that this summit today through this summit today we would like to communicate to the domestic and international investor community we would like to communicate to them that you mean a lot that to us you are important and this we would like to communicate this day through this summit we would like to convey this day our strengths the diverse opportunities the state has to offer the state's business friendly environment its robust infrastructure the state's emphasis on healthy competition and innovation and above all our commitment towards sustainable long term growth through your partnership i'm extremely happy to host this event in visakhapatnam a city that has emerged as a strong economic hub with the presence of multiple public and private sector units port led infrastructure a metech zone and a tourist hot spot the city known not only for its industrial strengths but also for its picturesque beauty and serene landscape it gives me great pleasure to host the event in this beautiful city The year 2020-23 is an important year for India 
as the country is hosting the G20 summit in September with the theme, One Earth, One Family, One Future. I'm sure that India's G20 presidency under the visionary leadership of Sri Narendra Modi ji would be a defining moment for us. The city of Visakhapatnam is also hosting one, one of the most important G20 work, working committee meetings as well. India is one of the fastest growing economies in the world. India has also demonstrated immense resilience and has emerged as one of the top destinations for foreign direct investments as well. The state of, the, uh, the state of Andhra Pradesh is one amongst the leading states driving the growth story of India. The state is blessed with several inherent strengths, including abundant natural resources, mineral wealth, a 974-kilometer coastline, and so forth. The state, is so, the state also possesses a robust infrastructure with six operating ports and four more under development. Six airports spread across the state, of which three are international airports as well. Three of the 11 industrial corridors being developed in the country are coming up in the state, housing 10 industrial nodes with a number of leading educational institutions, strategic locational advantages, abundant industrial land bank, skilled youth, a thriving industrial and business ecosystem, and above all, a proactive government with an enabling policy framework makes the state an attractive destination for your investments. Andhra Pradesh has achieved a year-on-year -year GSDP growth rate of 11.43% in the financial year 2021-22, which was the highest in the country. Further, in the last three years, the exports from our state have also increased at a compounded annual growth rate of 9.3%. Our endeavor for sustainable progress was also recognized by Niti Aayog, which rated the state number three in its SGD India Index rankings for 2020-21 across social, economic, and environmental criteria. Our focus in the state has been on formulating several path-breaking reforms and initiatives to strengthen governance at the grassroots improve business environment, environment, promote policy stability, drive competitiveness, and enhance transparency to provide a low-risk investment climate. I'd like to highlight four key pillars on which the state government places utmost emphasis on, which are crucial for economic and industrial development. Greenification being one, industrial and logistics infrastructure being the number two, digitization being number three, the fourth, enterprise and skill development. On greenification front, I wish to point out that with decarbonization becoming a global imperative, our emphasis continues to be on hastening the transition to renewable energy. Andhra Pradesh is blessed with a large renewable energy potential of 82 gigawatt. It is one of the very few states in India that has a combined potential for solar, wind, and pump storage as well. We have also identified and set aside dedicated land parcels for wind, solar, and pump storage projects as well. Andhra Pradesh is also blessed with unique geographical features enabling a potential of 34 gigawatt in pumped hydro storage as well, which can facilitate round-the-clock renewable power. Andhra Pradesh has the potential to be one of the leading states in India for production, 
consumption and export of green hydrogen, green ammonia, given the long coastline we are endowed with. On the industrial and logistics infrastructure front, I wish to point out that Andhra Pradesh, with its 974 kilometer long coastline, is a gateway to India on its east coast. To strengthen the maritime sector in the state, we are developing four new ports at Ramai Patnam, Machli Patnam, Bhavan Padu, and Kakinada, in addition to the six operational ports. Further, the abundant land availability in close proximity to these ports enhances the potential for port-led industrialization. I wish to point out that Andhra Pradesh is the only state with three industrial corridors, Vizag chennai Industrial Corridor, Chennai-Bangalore Industrial Corridor, and Hyderabad-Bangalore Industrial Corridor. These industrial corridors are planned in proximity to various demand centers and provide excellent connectivity from the ports to various hinterland locations. These corridors with 10 dedicated nodes would certainly emerge as hubs for industrial growth in the years to come. To reduce the time and cost of moving cargo to hinterlands, we are also developing five multi-model logistics parks as well, a strategic location spread across the state. The state government is also developing nine new fishing harbors, enabling seafood sourcing and processing. Andhra Pradesh also has sector-specific industrial clusters for pharmaceuticals, textiles, food processing, electronics, etc., which provide the state which provides state-of-the-art, common infrastructure, and large pool of skilled manpower. Andhra Pradesh is also home to several medtech companies in Andhra Pradesh, medtech zone in Visakhapatnam. Additionally, the government is making available plug-and-play facilities, which will significantly reduce the cost and time associated with setting up of business. The third pillar, digitization, is also of paramount importance. Our single desk portal offers a one-stop digital platform for all domestic and international investments with over 90 business services across 23 departments. The business specific approvals for setting up of businesses are granted within a maximum time frame of 21 days. To improve the delivery of citizen-centric services, we also have the AP Seva system at the village and ward secretariats providing over 540 services. On the enterprise development and skill enhancement front, I have always believed that conducive business environment is one of the most important requirements for achieving accelerated enterprise growth. The state of Andhra Pradesh is known for its focus, ensuring business-friendly environment for the stakeholders. The state has consistently stood first in the country in ease of doing business. Consecutively for the past three years, and received the highest positive feedback of 97.89% from industry surveyed by the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Government of India, DPIIT, which itself speaks volumes of the conducive environment in the state. Moreover, we have proactively amended acts and repealed obsolete laws to reduce compliance burden on the industry, along with good infrastructure and a conducive business environment Availability of skilled workforce is very crucial if the desired outcome is to be achieved. To this end, the state government is in the path of setting up 26 skill development colleges in the state. The state government is working with the objective of upgrading skills of our local youth 
to international standards, through significant industry involvement, through these skill development colleges. I wish to conclude by reiterating that with proactive policy formulation and due attention to each of the pillars discussed, we are facilitating a business-friendly environment and are also ensuring sustainable economic development of the state. At the Andhra Pradesh Global Investors Summit 2020-23, over the next two days, we will be showcasing the strengths of our state and the business prospects that are available. We urge all the business leaders to participate actively in the sector sessions and engage with our teams to understand the potential opportunities in various sectors in our state. It is our commitment to facilitate the most conducive business ecosystem in the state. I once again assure you that we are only a phone call away. Whenever you need us for anything whatsoever in supporting your business, this is our assurance to you. I thank you once again for being part of this summit and extending your warmth and support. I do hope that you have a wonderful time in our beautiful city of Visakhapatnam, which would be our executive capital as well in the days to come. I myself would be shortly moving over to Visakhapatnam in the days to come as well. At the valedictory session of the Andhra Pradesh Global Investors Summit in Visakhapatnam, on behalf of the state government, I thank you all for making this summit a success, and I'm overwhelmed by the confidence reposed. On behalf of the state, I'd like to say that this association is of immense value, and we commit to ensure that your investment in the state would flourish, and you can be assured of our support in all your endeavors. This phenomenal optimism that we have witnessed during the past two days would encourage us to redouble our efforts in making the business environment in the state more conducive and more welcoming. Over the past three and a half years of my government, we have seen the economy reviving at a relatively faster pace, owing to the timely impetus we have given to the several sectors. We could ensure that the consumption and investment has not taken a nose dive even during the times of severe economic turbulence caused by the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Good governance and effective policy intervention by our government has not only safeguarded the economy and kept deficits under control and has also ensured that the business ecosystem is not jeopardized. During this period, we have carefully laid the path for facilitating a conducive business environment, strengthening the infrastructure, improving the skills of our youth, making internet and broadband far more accessible, and so forth. This summit is being organized at a very crucial juncture, and I'm indeed very glad that this summit has played a key role in projecting Andhra Pradesh as a favored investment decision for both national and international investor community. During this summit, we organized 15 sector sessions with over 100 speakers in these 15 sector sessions, showcasing Andhra Pradesh our growing strengths. These 15 focus sectors included automobile, and EV sector, agri-processing, healthcare, 
and medical equipment, renewable energy, green hydrogen, tourism, and so on and so forth. In addition to, the, in addition to this, we also had four country sessions for UAE, Netherlands, Vietnam, and Western Australia for, explores, for exploring opportunities for collaboration with Andhra Pradesh. Our exhibition arena had special focus on our AP pavilion, highlighting one district, one product theme with 137 exhibition stalls. I'm indeed very happy that over the past two days, we had several bilateral meetings with ministers, delegations from foreign countries, diplomats, ambassadors, global and domestic industry leaders. These meetings have been very fruitful, and I'm very happy that our efforts in making Andhra Pradesh one of the most attractive investment destinations is yielding commendable results. With respect to the firm commitments to partner with the state, I wish to convey that commensurate with the overwhelmingly positive business sentiment, we have executed 352 MOUs with an investment commitment of over 13,5663 crores and an employment potential of over 6,3223 to offer. In the energy sector alone, 40 MOUs have been signed worth 8,84,823 crores of investment, creating an employment potential of 1,90,000 families. In the IT and ITES sector, 56 MOUs were also signed, amounting to 25,587 crores of investment with an employment potential of 1,4442 people. In the tourism sector, another 117 MOUs have been signed and the investment to the tune of 22,000 crores with an employment potential of 30,787 people. I wish to point out that one of the, one of the sectors into which significant investments were committed is the renewable energy sector. These proposed investments into renewable energy generation, pump storage, and production of green hydrogen and green ammonia would go a long way in mitigating the intermittency associated with renewable energy and render it a credible alternative to fossil fuel-based generation. This would make a significant contribution in green energy space to India's commitment towards achieving net zero. I'm thankful to you all. I'm thankful for your trust and faith in Andhra Pradesh and in our government especially. I sincerely request all of you to move from the MOU stage to grounding of your investments in Andhra Pradesh at the earliest. We are committed to facilitate speedy and hassle-free conversion of these MOUs signed into actual investments. To enable this, we are forming a monetary committee consisting of the Chief Secretary himself and the CMO officials together with the Special Chief Secretary Industries. This committee will meet every week and closely follow up on the implementation of these MOUs. This committee will sort out all the day-to-day -day issues faced by you and will facilitate the speedy grounding of these investments, assuring you all that our government will demonstrate our speed of facilitating business as well. Today we have also witnessed the inauguration of 14 industrial houses with an, indes with an investment of approximately 3,841 crores and an employment which has been generated 
to the extent of 9,108 jobs. In fact, it gives me great pride to do these inaugurations online. This reflects the implementation mindset of, the, of our government for grounding and facilitating your investments in the state. And I wish you all the very best as you commence your journey forward, assuring you that you will find an environment that welcomes you, that guides you, provides you access to enabling infrastructure and skilled manpower, mitigating the risks associated with your business and effectively rendering your investment mutually rewarding to both you and the state of Andhra Pradesh. I once again thank you all for the trust reposed in the state of Andhra Pradesh and making this event a phenomenal success. Thank you once again.